Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us who are on this journey to love. And so this is for those who are in a twin flame, soul to soul connection. And um, the song that I'm going to put into the description box today is a song called You and I. And it's by a guy called Tom Walker. And uh, the lyrics to the song are just brilliant <laughs> and just so amazing. And um, it's a really, really, I'll just read some of it because the, it just speaks volumes. So um, it's, it is, um, hang on one sec because I've got to get to the right ones. That's not the one. Let me find it when I do the, I'll do the letters first. So people have asked me to channel um, some letters, uh, to, to do some letters for them. Okay, I've got it. So, and I know I can tell you anything. You won't judge, you're just listening. Because you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Because my darling, you and I could take over the world. And one step at a time, just you and I. Because you're the only one who brings light, just like the, stu like the sun. One step at a time, just you and I. So, I really encourage you to listen to the song. It's just beautiful and, uh, yeah, amazing. Right, so people have asked me to read letters 1922 and 221. So, I'm going to do that. So, uh, 19 is this. I want to say that this life that we're going to create together is going to be so beautiful and so full of love and romance and passion. A passion for life and a passion to have the best life we can with each other. Taking care of each other, being there for one another, being each other's best friend, their home, their comfort and their challenge. I want that for us beyond anything else in the whole world. I want all my boyhood dreams to come true of running off with the love of my life, living the dream and never, ever, ever looking back. Believing that the two of us can do anything we set our minds and our hearts to. I want us, full stop. That's what I want more than anything. Us, us, us. To come together in a beautiful, passionate glow and flame of love. Okay, so that's letter 19. And then this is letter 22. I want you to know that you're my hero, my knight in shining armor, my superstar, my shining star. Believe, believe, believe that we are joined at the heart. When I'm away in my physical body, my heart and soul remain with you, in you, feeding each other's souls, feeling each other's vibration. Know that we are on a journey together Please focus your mind on the feeling that you get in your heart. Can't you feel me? I feel you. I see you. I dream you. I am you. Please, please, please remember that there is no you and I. There is only us. Only love. Only union of our hearts to bring us peace, love and unbound joy. Just love, love, love. <coughs> So, how gorgeous. Right, so 19 and 22 from book two is, you're the light of my life, the pink in the sunset over a beautiful calm sea, the sun coming up on a summer's day. You are the reason I'm here, the reason I am alive. The reason why we're both alive is to find each other, to find each other and to love each other with every inch of our souls every fibre of our being, everything about us has been made to love each other. It's in our DNA. It's our blueprint. It's literally written into every cell of our body that we are each other's perfect match. There isn't anyone on the earth that can do what you do to me or what I do to you. There is only us that can fulfil our soul's desire. So there is only you, only us that can do what we do to each other. So letter 22, that our time will come, that our passage back to each other is all within us, <coughs> like a <coughs> secret homing device that will be triggered when the plan, the greater divine plan says so. And the divine plan can move mountains, can make the seemingly impossible possible trust in our plan 
Trust that anything is possible. Believe in the power of prayer. Believe in the power of divine love. Believe in the magnetism of our hearts and the universal heartbeat. Believe in a great power that needs us to come together. Trust in me. Trust in us. Trust in the light. <coughs> there you go. Trust in the light. Trust that we are all here to create light. Right, 19. My love, I'm sorry that we have to go through this phase in our journey, but it is necessary for us to find our path back to each other, to understand our truth, to find who we are in the light of each other's love. We only know this by separating and seeing that in another's light we are in our shadow. It is only our love, our light, that allows us to fully shine. We are discovering our light. Our love is incredibly powerful and will bring us home once again. We will end in each other's love to find our light. So that's a great um, you know, basically tell it saying just what happens when you're in karmic relationships or other relationships, right? It's all about you're basically creating like a wish list of what you actually do want in a relationship all the time that you're with someone else. Um, so that's that's why you know this happens, that's why the journey is like that because it makes you really realize what you want. So, letter 22 is my heart, my love my life. I want to be with you so much. I wish that I could make our life together start now. So much time has passed and we have so much living and loving to do. I don't want to waste another minute living my life in the shadows, looking in on the world and feeling like I'm stuck on the outside. You gave me the keys to my freedom. I know that you are the answer. You are the light. You are the love. Our love is so powerful, it's going to blast away my fears and blast open the doors to our happiness. Our love. We are love. We came to find each other. We came to be together. Trust that I am going to make us happen. Okay, so there you go. Trust that I am going to make us happen. And then somebody asked for letter 221, and 221 is only in book three. So let's have a look what it says. Um, because it triggered in me hurt and pain and the feelings of loss and being abandoned, somewhere in my soul I had to retreat and let go of those energies that were being reflected back in me. I couldn't make sense of why I had such a strong reaction to it, but it made me feel scared. I thought, I just can't deal with this. It's making me feel vulnerable, and I know it's not great, but I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry that my actions must have caused you pain. I'm sorry for that, but I just didn't know how else to deal with it. There's so much I'm sorry for. I just wish that I could take it all back, but I will make it up to you every day for the rest of our lives, for our eternal lives. Oh, oh my God, so... Right, so this is so, you know, so for anyone that's had to create a boundary with their twin, right? And so this is what I've had to do recently, so that I can't actually see my twin <coughs> when he's still in a relationship with someone else. And um, and so, of course, that, that that is about, this is, this letter, I can see why this one came out today, because this is exactly, you know, at the beginning, my twin reacted, like, really nicely and really like kind of saying he understood and then he then you know clearly the fear came in and then he then that reaction wasn't quite the same let's say so and so I get that because suddenly like at the beginning it's like oh you think oh no I understand okay cool and then it's like that fear about but hang on a minute what do you mean do you mean that you're never going to see me <laughs> and I'm like well no I'm just saying Obviously, I will see you, but not when you're in the same situation. You know, if your situation changes, then, then you know, you know where I am. And so that's the thing. That's why I can see why this letter came out. So it is because it triggered in me hurt and pain and the feelings of loss and being abandoned. Somewhere in my soul, I had to retreat and let go of those energies that were being reflected back in me. I couldn't make sense of why I had such a strong reaction to it. 
but it made me feel scared. I thought, I just can't deal with this. It's making me feel vulnerable, and I know it's not great, but I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry that my actions must have caused you pain. I'm sorry for that, but I just didn't know how else to deal with it. There's so much I'm sorry for. I just wish that I could take it all back, but I will make it up to you every day for the rest of our lives, for our eternal lives. Okay, so I guess that, that just leads to me, so it's just, I guess, a perfect time to just talk about a bit about my dyna dynamic with my twin because this comes up a lot, right, about should I contact them, should I not? So um, over, so over, I guess, so all of the time that I've been, like, met my twin sort of like five, I can't think if it's five or six years. Anyway, it doesn't really matter about the time. But until fairly recently, it has been, communication has always been kind of come from me, although my twin will always respond straight away. But um, mostly, I would say 90% of the time, it was uh, me that was, um, you know, basically me that was keeping the communication going. And so, and it was doing it because my guidance was telling me that I had to. So it was the right thing to do at that time. But then recently, um, you know, over the last sort of few months where I've had to set that boundary and basically um, say that I can't meet up also, um, my guidance is telling me not to do any communication as well until I'm guided to again but basically it is about drawing that line in the sand and there is a definite difference I have to say between thinking before it was kind of like I've I've been during this process I thought well I have to keep the communication going because otherwise you know how's it going to happen kind of thing um, and that is, again, completely understandable and that's what also had to happen. That's the other thing about your journey. You have to always trust that every single step of the journey has been, you know, you know you're following your guidance and therefore that is the way it was supposed to be. And so it's right for you. You know, that's why it's really difficult to ever compare yourself to anyone else because what's right for you is right for you. And you shouldn't get swayed by what other, whether, what other people do or what, what you listen to. If it resonates though, then fair enough. That's why I'm sharing this. So recently, I'd say over the last three to four months um, is when I have just been led not to make any contact, right? And, um, and set boundaries. And the difference is, and I can feel a shift because the shift is, is that there is that 100% faith and trust that I actually don't have to do anything. <laughs> Um, because it's all in the hands of divine, right? And um, that shift has happened and it is completely letting go, right? Completely giving control to, you know, completely surrendering it to the divine. I guess that's the difference. And one of the things is, is that people always say that. I mean, I'm constantly saying it to people, but it's a bit annoying. <laughs> I know it because it's not until you actually get go through the process and you really do get to that point of surrendering completely that you actually know it, right? It's because you can think, oh, I'm surrendering, but I'm still feeling like I need to contact or whatever. But if you're following your nudges, then you, ha you absolutely have to. What I'm saying is there's just a, a bit of a, there's a shift that happens. And um, suddenly it's like, okay, well, I actually don't have to do anything here. You know, I've done my stuff now. Now it's like in the hands of the divine, I'm just gonna do my own thing. And I'm just gonna trust 100% in the bigger picture. And um, and that's what happens. But it's, a, you know, everyone's different, right? But you'll get to that. There is a definite shift that happens when you get to that point. So <coughs> anyway. I just thought I'd share that because those letters kind of just go through everything that's just been happening with me and my twin over the last sort of like four or five months. So there you go. Well, I hope that helps. And uh, if you want a channel letter, a healing or a reading, please do. Um, I'd be happy to help you. All right, take care. And check out the song in the description. It is amazing. All right, take care. Bye.